Hello, in this video we will use reference angle to find an exact value of tangent of negative 17 pi out of 6 without a calculator. So right away we should be able to see that 6 goes into 17 more than 2 whole times because 6 times 2 is 12. So before we begin looking for exact value, let's find coterminal angle to negative 17 pi out of 6. Since the angle is negative, let's add one rotation, which is positive 2 pi. We are adding a whole number to a fraction, so 2 pi is out of 1. We need a common denominator of 6, so let's multiply 1 by 6. Whatever we do in denominator, let's multiply numerator by the same thing. So now we have out of 6 negative 17 pi from the first fraction plus 6 times 2, 12 pi from the second fraction. And we get out of 6, we have negative 17 from the first pi plus 12 from the second pi. So negative 17 plus 12 of pi. Difference signs, you look for difference, and difference between 17 and 12 is 5. We have more negatives, so it's negative 5 pi out of 6. So this is the first coterminal angle, which is negative 5 pi out of 6. We can proceed and draw this counterclockwise on x and y axes. But since we already begun adding revolutions, we can go ahead and take negative 5 pi out of 6 and add another rotation of 2 pi. Once again, 2 pi is a whole number. We are adding it to a fraction. So let's do 2 pi out of 1. We need a common denominator, which is 6. So 1 times 6. Whatever we do to denominator, let's multiply the same thing into numerator, so 6 times 2. This will give us out of 6. We have negative 5 pi from the first fraction, plus 6 times 2 is 12 pi from the second fraction. So now we get out of 6, negative 5 from the first pi, plus 12 from the second pi. So we get negative 5 plus 12 of pi. We have different signs, so we look for difference. And the difference between 5 and 12 is 7. We have more positives, so it's positive 7 pi out of 6. So our reference angle is 7 pi out of 6. Once we have the reference angle, let's sketch it on x and y axis. So in radians, we have 0 radians here, 1 pi is here, 7 pi is out of 6. The denominator is 6, so we need to divide 1 pi into 6 equal pieces. It's already divided by y axis, and we have pi out of 2 over here, which is equivalent to 90 degrees. A right angle. So let's divide each half into three pieces. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have one pi divided into six pieces. Six out of six would give us pi back, but we need seven pi out of six. So we need to take the second pi of the rotation and divide it into six equal pieces as well. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 parts of pi. So 1 more sixth of pi will give us 7 pi out of 6. So this makes the reference angle theta to be around here. And in order to calculate angle theta, the reference angle, we need to know how much it's making with the x-axis. And in order to do so, we can take 7 pi out of 6 and minus half of the rotation, which is equal to pi. So 7 pi out of 6, the coterminal angle, minus 1 pi will give us the reference angle theta. 
So we have pi out of 1. We need a common denominator of 6. So 1 times 6, whatever we do to the denominator, we want to multiply numerator by the same thing. And this will give us out of 6, 7 pi from the first fraction minus 6 pi from the second fraction. And we get out of 6. In numerator, we have 7 pi minus 6 pi. We have just 1 pi left over. And this is our reference angle theta. So the reference angle theta is equal to pi out of 6. And it falls in the third quadrant. The reason I took the note of where the angle falls is because it will tell us whether or not tangent function is positive in that quadrant. So all students take calculus. All trig functions are positive in the first quadrant, sine and its reciprocal in the second quadrant, tangent and its reciprocal in the third quadrant, and cosine and its reciprocal in the fourth quadrant. Since the angle falls in the third quadrant, we know that tangent of negative 17 pi out of 6 will have a positive value and it will be equivalent to tangent of pi out of 6. If you have this value memorized, you can go ahead and answer this question now. However, if you don't, we can use the reference table to calculate it. Now we need to know that tangent of pi out of 6 is exactly the same value as tangent of pi is equal to 180. So 180 out of 6 is 30 degrees. So from here we just need to calculate tangent of 30 degrees. So here is the reference table. You begin with 0, then we have 1, 2, 3 and 4. We take square root of this whole thing and divide everything by 2. Reference for sine goes from left to right, so we have sine of 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. Reference for cosine goes from right to left, so we have 0, 30, 45, 60, 90. And this whole thing is in degrees. The only thing is this table does not give tangent directly. However, we can use the property that tangent of 30 degrees is equal to sine of 30 degrees divided by cosine of 30 degrees. Sine of 30 degrees, the reference is on top of 1. So sine of 30 degrees is radical 1 out of 2 divided by cosine of 30 degrees. The reference is on top of 3. So cosine of 30 degrees is radical 3 out of 2. Now we can simplify a little. Square root of 1 is 1 out of 2. Let's change division into multiplication and we would have to flip the second fraction so we get 2 out of radical 3. 2 in denominator and 2 in numerator will cancel and we get 1 left in numerator out of radical 3 in denominator. We need to rationalize this. Square root in denominator will cancel out with the second power. So we need one more factor of radical 3 which will make a second power. Whatever we multiply denominator by, we need to multiply the same thing into numerator. And we get 1 times radical 3, radical 3 in numerator, out of square root of 3 to the second power to in denominator. Second power and the square root will cancel and we get radical 3 out of 3. And this is tangent of 30 degrees. So tangent of negative 17 pi out of 6 is equal to positive radical 3 out of 3. And this will be our solution. That's all.